Hello, I'm Royce Weber, and welcome to Weber's PE Workshop. Today, we will be practicing performing a pivot in soccer. Using the offensive move of pivoting is a way to turn your body with your strong foot on the ball in order to keep control of the ball, while using your body to block the defender from getting the ball, or it could be used to quickly switch directions while maintaining control of the ball. When using a pivot, make sure that your weight is on the balls of your feet. Keep your feet shoulder width apart. Keep your pivot foot on the ground and rotate your body. You should pivot with your preferred foot. This is how you perform a pivot. Have the weight on the balls of your feet, shoulder width, your feet shoulder width apart. Place your preferred foot on the ball and shift your weight onto the ball without slipping. And then pivot with your preferred foot. These are the skill cues that you can use while performing a pivot. Ready. Assume a ready position with the weight on the balls of the feet to perform the movement. Step. Step with the feet shoulder width apart with preferred foot on the ball or ground ready to pivot. Shift. Shift weight onto pivoting foot while pushing off with the opposite foot without sliding. Pivot. Shift weight onto the foot just stepped with while also pushing off the ground with the opposite foot. And shield. Shield the ball from the defender by putting an arm up or using the body. These are the skill cues of a pivot. Ready, step, shift, pivot, and shield. If you're working on your pivot at home, here are five different pivot drills to work on. Drill one. Our first drill will be to practice the pivot without a ball from a stationary position. We will plant our preferred foot on the ground where the ball would be and swing our body around. Now you practice pivoting without the ball 10 times. Make sure to practice pivoting in multiple directions. Drill one. Drill two. The second drill will be to perform a pivot with a ball in a stationary position. We are going to do the same thing as in drill one, but this time with a ball. Now practice the pivot 10 times. Make sure to practice pivoting in multiple directions. Drill two. Drill three. Now we will be practicing pivoting with a ball from a dribble. For this drill, you will need two cones 10 feet apart. Designate one cone as the starter cone and the other as the defender cone. You will start at the starting cone with your ball. You will dribble the ball to the defender cone, perform a pivot, and then dribble the ball back to the starter cone. I want you to practice this 10 times. Make sure to practice pivoting in multiple directions. Drill three. Drill four. Now we will be practicing pivoting by running from the starter cone to a stationary ball near the defender cone. Now we are focusing on getting the ball first and making sure to shield the ball from the defender. I want you to run up to the ball, perform a pivot, shield the ball from the defender, and dribble the ball back to the starting cone. You will need to make sure to replace the ball every time near the defender cone. I want you to practice this drill 10 times. Make sure to pivot in multiple directions. Drill four. Drill five. Now we'll be practicing the pivot by standing at the starting cone and throwing the soccer ball in any direction so that when it lands on the ground, it is rolling away from us. Before the ball hits the ground, we need to catch up to the ball, perform a pivot while shielding from a defender, and then dribble back to the starting cone. I want you to practice this drill 10 times. Drill five. If you'd like to practice again, you can go through drills one through five but instead using your non-preferred foot. 
One activity you could use to practice pivoting at home is to create a pivot obstacle course. To make an obstacle course, you will need five objects, cones, or something to mark points with. You will need to set up the obstacle course so that there is one point in the middle surrounded by five points that are spread out around the middle point. Starting from the middle point, you would dribble to the outer point, perform a pivot with the dominant foot, and then dribble back to the middle point. From the middle point, you would perform a pivot and dribble out to the next point. Repeat this pattern until you have performed a pivot at all of the outer points. Once you have completed the obstacle course, try going through it again, but instead using your non-dominant foot to pivot. You can be creative with your obstacle course and change it in many different ways to practice pivoting. This pivoting activity can be used outside. If you have a large room in your house, you could also perform this activity inside. enjoyed this video and continue to practice your pivoting skills. See you next time.